What is up my Tickle Me crew, this is Chad here, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. So in the last episode we defeated the Team Flare Grunts here in the Pokeball Factory, and uh, in this episode I'm actually not sure where we're going, but uh, we got a holo clip here, so uh, it is by... I actually don't know what this girl's name is. We're bringing you the special bulletin. The Pokeball Factory in the area around Lavar City has been attacked. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is not expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. You're a little late because I just kicked their ass. Alright, so let's pull up the town map real quick. And it appears like we are either going to the Lost Hotel or Dendamil Town. I think uh, the Lost Hotel is not really like a special place you have to go to. So I think we're actually going to Dendamil Town. Can't believe I don't remember this. I played through the game already, but ah, whatever. Alright, so I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, what? Why are you here? Okay, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and heal my Pokemon real quick. And we're going to head on to the next route. You know what, that girl from the, uh, the hollow thingy-majigger, the hologram chick, I, she looked like the girl from the Elite Four. I'm, I'm guessing they're the same person. I don't remember her name. She's like the Fire Elite Four member. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna switch out Carrot for Luca. Um, everybody is level 47 and 48, so that's nice. Alright, so let's head on to the next route, shall we? Uh, let's see, do anybody give us anything specific? Anything good? Oops. What about you? Nope. Telling us some story about a king. Alrighty, so I believe we're on Route 15, yep. Brun Way. And uh, sometimes there's trainers in these big clumps of uh, leaves. And uh, I think maybe even some items at times. Yep, there's an item. So there's a net ball. Makes it easier to catch bug type Pokemon and Pokemon in the water, I believe. And uh, there's a berry over there. So let's go ahead and get that. It is a Lepa berry. Yep, there's a trainer. And we're actually on a new route, so we can catch a Pokemon here. So let's go ahead and do that after this trainer battle. So this guy has a Watchog. We're going to send out Twerksu. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance, just to ensure that I get a one-hit KO. Because Watchog can be pretty annoying. He's going to go for the mean look, make it so I can't switch out, which is fine. I had no plans on switching out anyway. And this dual chop is going to take it out in one hit. Luca grew to level 48. That's awesome. Uh, your next Pokemon is a Swoobat. It's a flying psychic type, but I have Rock Tomb. You know what, I actually would not mind having a Swoobat for competitive battles. I was watching some of old, or some of uh, Shady Penguin's old videos and he actually used one in uh, some of his competitive battles. It, it actually was pretty decent. I'm a big fan of like lower tier Pokemon, so when I see stuff like that, it, it's really awesome. So you have a Seedra. Oh, he has Poison Point. And uh, this is actually surprisingly not going to take him out in one hit. He goes for the agility. So he, I'm pretty sure he's going to outspeed at this point. But I don't think he's going to be able to take us out in one hit. I'm just going to go for a Rock Tomb. 
Yeah, he used... T oh, shit. That's super effective. Ooh. That was a crit. Ooh. Speaking of Shady Penguin, it's a crit. Those of you who watch his videos would get understand that. Alright, so we need to heal up Twerksy real quick. Alright, so... Full heal. Actually, n let's not waste the full heals yet. We do have some antidotes. And let's go ahead and use a hyper potion or two. Nah, one will do. I love the music on this route. So anyway, let's find us a wild Pokemon. So what is it going to be? It is a Horde of Fungus. I don't think Horde battles count in Nuzlocks. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say that they don't count in Nuzlocks, so... Alright, so what is it going to be? Please, not another Horde battle. It is going to be a Watch Ugg. Not really a big fan of this Pokemon, but I'm going to catch it anyway. If I don't take it out first, that is. I'm going to go for a Slash. Alright, so it should be weak enough. Let's go ahead and use a Great Ball. One, two, three, and cut. I don't really have a nickname for this. Um, its eyes look kind of crazy. 420 blaze it. I just thought it had really weird looking eyes, so why not? Another trainer battle over here. Keith, and he has a Gabite. Not really the best idea to stay in on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to outspeed. I'm going to go for the dual chop. And I miss. Which is going to allow him to go for the dig. I don't want to take any damage or unnecessary damage. I'm going to switch out into a flying type, because ground moves don't work on flying types. And I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's Stab. I'm pretty sure... No, it doesn't kill. Wow. He goes for the Dual Chop. That did okay damage. Alright, we defeated Keith. Uh, let's see, let's cut through this grass right here. Alright, so it looks like we have a double battle here. Mysterious Sisters Rune and Rhyme. Driftblim and Floet. Alright, so I kind of want to get rid of their Driftblim first. Ooh, but I... Mm. This is just a really bad 
situation for me overall because both of their Pokemon are super effective against mine. So, I'm going to switch into Blastoise and Carrot. Both of my two bulkiest Pokemon. So the Shadow Ball does not affect my Snorlax because it's a normal type. Alright, so now we're in business. I'm going to Mega Evolve, go for the Bite on the Drift Bloom, and a Body Slam on the Floet. Really love using Mega Blastoise. Definitely one of my favorite Megas. I need to use Mega Blastoise more often competitively. I never see anybody use it for some reason. It's such a great Pokemon. Great ability, great stats all around. Just a great Pokemon. Now obviously if you're using a Mega Blastoise in competitive battles, don't use physical moves because that would just be retarded. Twerksu wants to learn Swords Dance, that doesn't really help me because I've already got Dragon Dance. Twerksu would just be a dancing fool with two dancing moves. And another bite is going to take out the Drift Blim. I think I've done well this Nuzlocke, I think I've only lost like two Pokemon this entire time, so I think I've done really well. Um, do I want to learn Crunch? Honestly, I feel like... Uh, I can always change my mind later. I feel like my Snorlax has decent coverage right now. So I don't think Crunch would help me out that much. Oh wow, Twerksu is actually evolving now. I did not expect that. I thought it evolved much, much later. So that's pretty cool. We have a Haxorus on our team. So now everybody is fully evolved. Whew! Look at the power, guys. Oh my lord. Let's look at this thing. 162 attack? Jesus Christ, dude. It has a higher attack stat than any of my other Pokemon, to put that in perspective. Fire Crotch's special attack is only 130. Blastoise's is only like 104. Snorlax's attack is 134. Lucario's is 128, and its special attack is 130. So, Haxorus is fucking insane. That is power. Alright, so it looks like we're getting another Hollow Clip. And it's from Lysander. According to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power even it cannot attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people and Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? It is hidden between a chosen few, because not every Pokemon can Mega Evolve. Although it seems like they're just handing out random Mega Evolutions now. Alright, so here's another trainer battle. She has a Dedene. So we're gonna test out uh, Twerksu real quick. God, this thing just looks fucking badass. It looks like it's gonna just fuck your bitch. 
Wow. Dejanay actually took that hit. Kind of surprised. But it's not going to take the second one. Next Pokemon is Aromatisse. I'm going to switch out because I don't want to deal with these fairies. Aromatisse is a bit annoying. Mega Blastoise should make short work of it. Oh, I got a yawn. Tired. Tired, tired, tired. Just gonna go for a surf, take it out. Oh man, I have another yawn there. Alright, so I think we're almost to the next town. Uh, is that it right there, I'm guessing? Let's see what's down here first. Oh, okay, we can't go over there, we need strength. Alright, so what does this person have to allow? Talking about the windmills, don't care. Eh, don't care. Alright guys, so we finally made it to Dendamil Town, and I will be exploring this town in the next episode. So remember to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, face ah, la, la, la. also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, goodness. Anyway, bye. Love you. Toodles.